Hi, here we are with another PvP Hero Hunters video. Had a request for some more Kurtz PvP videos, so this is a possible Kurtz setup that you could have. Um, so Kurtz here, he is definitely one of the stronger heroes for PvP, if not the strongest. And the two skills that are really great for him is his Platinum skill, Fierce Retaliation, where whenever an allied hero is killed, all enemy targets become heal blocked and take an amount of mechanical damage. In the case of my Kurtz, where he's at right now, it's about 20,000 damage per second for 8 seconds. And then his other silver skill, Execute, executes the weakest allied hero, immediately killing them. All remaining allied heroes gain an amount of health and it, their weapons deal an additional amount of attack damage for 30 seconds. Um, and those two numbers will change depending on uh, the level and strength of your character. And so because of that, uh, because it, it kills one of your allies, you want to run him with Ifrit because of her Platinum Unfinished Business. The first time an allied hero who has not killed an enemy dies, they are revived after 15 seconds. Or you want to run him with another reviver, Flatline. Her bronze skill. This hero deals damage to herself and, random, and a random fallen allied hero is revived. And then just for support, I'm going to be running Mandrake. He's a great support because of his bronze skill. Uh, whenever an allied is below 25% health, they gain invisibility. So this means that all the computer-controlled heroes will not attack that hero. They'll only attack if you're manually controlling them. So that really helps out. And then Heimlock, he's a great um, support. He gives a bonus at the start of every mission, a bonus health to everybody, as well as um, will cleanse and heal as well. And so we'll take this for a spin here. So typically with Kurtz, if you were to come across him in PvP, a lot of people will sort of just roll around with him, waiting for his skills to charge, because he, he doesn't have the greatest base attack. Um, so you'll see people, they'll just be rolling around all over the place. Um, so let's see, let's go for their Galant here. Let's see, my my Mandrake is pretty low, so we'll execute. So now you can see every all the opponents are taking damage as well as everybody got a huge boost in the amount of damage that they do. <clears throat> and so now it's just hopefully my revivers can revive Mandrake before we kill the whole other team, which they just revived him, and then we took out their Francois. So that worked out pretty well right there. So that was against a computer, so everything worked out pretty well if we were to look at the numbers. Um, without the execute skill, combining with his platinum skill, Kurtz probably would have been uh, almost useless. Um, but you can look at the damage wise, so that's pretty good. So we'll run this again and see if we can get up against another actual player here, not a computer. Okay, so this is another, uh, and this is an actual person, so we'll see. Um, because Kurtz is mechanical, uh, we'll just try for their Panzer. Let's see if we can get their Butter. OK, 
Okay, so let's see Ifrit, or let's see Mandrake again. So now they should all be taking damage. We get a huge boost. And then let's see if Flatline here will be able to, there's, so Mandrake is back. And we're just about to kill their last hero. So that again worked out pretty well. We were able to revive everyone right before uh, we took out their last hero. If we were to look at the numbers. And so again, if, if you have a damage dealer doing 20 to 30,000 damage per second or anything above that is great. Uh, if you can have a computer controlled support that can do about 10,000 damage, that's also really good. So we'll, we'll go and run one more here with this Kurt setup. Um, so because of Kurtz and the way he's set up, you almost, if you come up against him, you almost have to kill him first. Um, so I'm going to take out their flatline, then hopefully after their flatline I'll be able to take out their Kuno before uh, she gets going. There she is. And then let's, if we can get their butter. And sometimes if you can kill a couple of heroes, you may not need to use uh, this skill. So I'm, I'm gonna try not to use his execute skill here and see if we can just finish this team off without. Usually if you can get into a <clears throat> if you can get into a five on three or a f five on two uh, you should be able to beat him even with uh, the not not the best uh, support damage wise. And so now we have, I'm going to try and stun him. So there we go. And so that's Kurt's bronze skill right there. If he has a higher level than the other hero, he can stun them. So you can see all the other team was 64. My Kurt's was level 80. So that's why I was able to stun him that way. And so there we go again. Kurtz did surprisingly a good amount of damage without using any skills. And, you know, 10,000, not great. Um, so that's that's a little bit about Kurtz right there in PvP. He's definitely a top-tier PvP because of, like I said, his platinum combined with his silver uh, skills. Without his skills, he's not great, so that's why a lot of people roll around with him. But hopefully you enjoyed this video, learned something new about a new PvP setup. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please uh, like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Thanks.